Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Patrick, welcome back to our channel. And today I will be giving you guys 10 things I wish I knew before coming to Las Vegas. Let's go. So the first thing I would recommend to you guys before booking and coming to Vegas is sign up for whichever hotel you're gonna stay in and become a member. That way you guys could get the better rates because I know the first time that I came, I did not do that and I got okay rates but then the next time I came around, I found out that I could have got a much better rate if I just signed up and became a member, a subscriber of whichever hotel you're going to. So if you're going to MGM, make sure you're signed up with them. Or if you're going to Caesars, make sure you're signed up with them. Whichever one you're going to, if they have a membership or a club that you could join and get better deals, I would suggest do that because the deals are going to be better. And obviously we all want to save some money when we're coming to Vegas. So that's, that's number one. So number two is I would recommend if you're going to any club, I would go through their online services and buy or make any type of reservations through the actual online website of any hotel that you're going to, whichever one it is, uh, book and make any reservations, buy tickets through their actual website, just so you won't have any hiccups or anything when you do get to the door. Cause I have heard of people actually going and getting third party stuff and you know, them getting to the door and something's wrong, right? So I would just recommend being safe about it and actually booking sh everything straight through their website. That way when you get there, you could, everything goes out smooth and you get in there nicely. Tip number three would be researching your hotel. Make sure your hotel has everything that you like. Make sure your hotel has a pool. Make sure your, your hotel has restaurants that you like, has foods, has a store, has a big enough suite, has a small suite. Basically anything that you're looking for, make sure and research that your hotel has that. Cause I have had something happen to me where I went to, to a hotel and my daughter couldn't actually go into the pool. So obviously we couldn't go into the pool, right? Um, so yeah, I would recommend researching everything and anything about your hotel to make sure they have all the right accommodations that you would need for you and your family. Number four would be, if you are going to a buffet, I would recommend you getting there early, extra early, just because I've had, had instances where I've gotten there and I thought I was kind of early or nobody would be there and the line would end up being three hours long to the point where it would be closed by the time I got to the front of the line. And it is frustrating, especially when you are going and you're it's in the morning or in the afternoon and you are hungry and obviously you can't get in because the, long, the, the line's too long, right? So I would definitely recommend going to any buffet that you're trying to go to extra early just to make sure you get in there because some of these people would get in there really early and and yeah you want you don't want to be left behind you want to make sure you get in there because i'm sure you're going to be starving and it's going to be frustrating when you're not able to go inside so i would recommend for sure getting there early to any buffet you are trying to go to so tip number five would be bring any extra food beverages alcohol water obviously you know some soda some chips some snacks to the hotel because you don't want not want to be buying $10 waters or $10 sodas on the strip. Might as well bring your own from your house. That way you could save a lot of money on that, especially because they'll try to upsell you inside your inside your hotel room in some cases with the mini bar. That would be just crazy, insane prices, right? So might as well recommend you guys bring your own stuff there. Water, sodas, like I said, that way you guys don't overspend already on your stay there. And having a bunch of snacks there is very easy and convenient to take with you. You know, in case you're walking up and down the strip, you have your snacks. You're not wearing where should I go where this, you just have extra snack, you have waters to stay hydrated, especially out here since it's very hot. Number six would be research any place that you're trying to go um, and eat at restaurants and make sure you place your reservations. Again, I would say do it through the hotel the hotel website or give them a call through the actual hotel that way again so when you get there there is no hiccups about hey you know you're not you don't have any reservations here right so if you are wherever it is you're trying to go call or go to the, their their main website and make reservations through there because you don't want to get there without making any reservations and not get in and say so you have to wait right might as well just have it already planned and i would do it like if you're coming in if you're going to vegas in a month i would say maybe do it now you know, two weeks out or maybe one week out, you know, and make those reservations already. That way it's, everything's already planned ahead of time. Number seven would be have each day of your stay planned. That way you don't, we don't waste any time and all your time's already devoted to something that you're going to do. Cause I have had 
sometimes you know where i come and i don't have anything planned for that day and it's like what do i do i would listen and you try to find what you're gonna do and then you end up wasting time and not knowing what to do so i was i would suggest if you're coming three days make sure you have every day planned out that way everything's booked and everything's ready for you to go and you just get here and you already know what you're gonna do you know i'm gonna do this this today this tomorrow and then the next day right your last day have everything planned and i think everything kind of works out and goes smoother like that because like i said you have everything planned so number eight would be a lot of us come here to vegas and drink right so i would recommend what i always do when i come here i get these things called drink aids to know if i'm having a really great like if i know i'm gonna have a really crazy night i'm gonna drink right after i drink i'm already going to sleep i'll get the drink aid the reason why i would rec recommend a drink aid is because most of the times that i drink i like i said i drink that after i'm about to go to sleep already and for me it always works out you know the next day i'm up and ready to go and i'm not just laying down in bed all day i've tried other, several other ones but drink aid for me works the best you know i know there's pills and patches but to me, drink aid honestly helps out a lot. I usually get mine on Amazon or in Bevmo. Or if you're here and you haven't got any, I, I usually go to uh, get them at Cosmo, Cosmopolitan. They usually have them. They're like $5, I think, around there. But honestly, they're worth it, like I said. So if you do have a crazy night, the next day you're not just laying in bed and wasting your time, right? And the full day is gone just because of you drinking all night, right? So for sure, I'll recommend getting that drink aid not sponsored but it's something that for me it works and i have such a better productive next day you know after after drinking heading to the club whatever it is you're doing so for number nine if your hotel has mobile check-in i would for sure recommend to do that because it saves you time you know cutting all this line you know a lot of people are going and waiting in to just talk to the receptionist if whatever hotel you're in they have that available for you mobile check-in is do that because for me, it saves me a bunch of time. I just scan, you know, I download the app or whatever it is they ask me to do and get the keys. You know, they have like, usually they have their own little station. You get the keys and you set them up to the phone and you're out, right? You, rather than just waiting in that long line. For me, I like doing that. Like I said, it's I'm in and out. I don't have to wait unless, I guess, unless you really want to change something from your reservation, then I guess you would have to go there. But even then, sometimes they have somebody there helping you out, you know, that can maybe help you with something, whatever it is you need, change a room, upgrade a room. They have somebody there, like, you know, making sure you get your keys and everything's okay with your mobile check-in. Like I said, that'll save you a lot of time, you know, especially if you're driving here, you're tired, you know, avoid the big line. And if you're flying in, avoid that big line. For sure, that'll help you guys out. Number 10 is manage your money. Obviously, I can't tell you guys what to do, but if you are coming here and you know you're gonna stay like it's for three nights and you want to gamble you know honestly you know know your bankroll and know how much you're going to spend each night that way your first night is not just done right it's like oh i, I have i brought 500 dollars to to gamble and your first night you're done with it right you know so what i would suggest is if you have 500 for three days you should do maybe you know 150 150 150 or 175 however that works out you know and stop after that what i got is this is this gamble box so if i'm putting it i usually put in like 40 dollars or 60 dollars in, in a in a slot machine and literally if i'm up 20 dollars i'll go get that get those 20 dollars out and put them in the gamble box that way i know i'm going home with something even if i lose those 40 at least i got back 20 right so i mean obviously i can't tell you guys what to do with your money but I would suggest for sure, you know, managing your money, your budget. A lot of people are like, no, I, I budget, what's that? No, but honestly, budgeting is not as bad as it seems. For me, I like to budget everything. That way I know how I'm managing my money. I know how much I have to spend. I know how much I am spending and then I know, I know how much I have left, right? I would for sure say budget your money. That way you don't spend it all in one night. Like, I, But like I said, I can't tell you guys what to do. Know your bankroll. You know, if you put in 200, you get out 300. I would, I would suggest take out everything and sa save what, what you profit in and keep on playing with the rest. That way you know you're going home with something. And I have one more bonus tip for you guys. If you are booking your hotel reservation, I would suggest booking your hotel with a credit card because what you pay online is not going to be what you come and pay once you check in, right? So they're going to charge you 
you're staying three days some hotel you know they rent it ranges from like fifty dollars to two hundred dollars of incidentals right if you paid three hundred dollars online and then you're probably gonna have to pay another extra three hundred dollars per night of incidentals right so obviously if if you have a thousand dollars you paid 300 on for your rooms just for the rooms alone and then when you come you get another 300 dollars charge for the incidentals you know you don't want it to go like that be stuck there. those are all your funds right you're not you're not, you're not gonna have enough left so what i would do is instead of do, using your debit card which that's your money that you actually have i would do it on a credit card that way everything gets charged there the incidentals get charged there and then once you check out obviously that will give you back the incidentals but that's usually sometimes like 24 to 48 hours later right so you don't want to have that extra 300 dollars of incidentals tied up in your debit card so for sure i would suggest paying with credit card for everything that has to do with your room and have this your debit card for other stuff not you know not have it tied up there like a lot of people don't don't know that some people do some people don't right that's why i'm giving you guys these little, little bonuses bonus tips you know because i didn't know when i got here i was like what i have to pay an extra 300 dollars now my room is now my stay is 900 dollars. like what what's going on you know and these are just things that tips that i wish i knew before coming and i want to share them with you guys you know to better your stay because i know i when i come here i want to have the best time obviously i want you guys to have a good time so yeah guys those are some of the tips that i wish i knew before coming to Vegas, right, that I wanna share with you guys. Like I said, it might not be like the craziest tips ever, but those are just some tips. I will be coming out with a part two, so please comment down below what other tips do you guys have that you guys would recommend for me to put on the next one that you can learn, you know, from coming and now you know, and now it's like, wow, I, now I know what to do every single time I come, right? Share those tips with us guys down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification button because it does help me and our channel a lot. I want to give you guys as much information as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.